cold night for football, huh? Oh, man. And you saw the cheerleaders bundled up. Everyone had their hats and gloves right, right. on. Yeah, a few flurries, but we didn't have 66 inches of snow. Like Buffalo? Or no, wait. Places? No, I am not Like kidding. within a 24-hour period yes, they had that? in Orchard Park, New York, and that's where the Buffalo Bills play, right. speaking of football, which is the reason they moved the game uh, against the Browns to Detroit. 66 inches of snow in Orchard Park, New York. That's an all-time state record. That sounds that's stunning. And it's Not more good. than we've had in the last three winters totaled up. All in one day. So what day. is that? That's five <laughs> feet and some That's change. five and a half Amazing. feet of snow. Oh. Ooh, they are going to They can be, have it. They are going to be digging yeah. up for quite a while. I just found that uh, kind of interesting stat. A National Weather Service actually tweeted a little bit of that info earlier today. They did some digging on our snowfall over the last three years, comparing it to what they've picked up in a day across the western sections of New York. And believe it or not, they are still dealing with lake effect snow. We have a few flurries locally. No trouble on area roadways. So that's some good news. A couple of local views will go east of Indianapolis. And if you look for these pockets of darker blue near Greenfield, Knightstown, we've got one on the south side near Beach Grove. These are just a few flurries, a stray snow shower or two. And we have more off to the west. This is uh, Interstate 70 and then just north and south of 70 from Greencastle to Cloverdale along 231. These should start to dissipate over the next couple of hours as skies start to clear. But we are reporting flurries and 25. It's still Breezy with a west southwest wind at 13 brings wind chills down into the teens, high single digits. We are all in the single digits as the wind chills continue to drop. Feels like temperatures uh, five, six, seven degrees first thing tomorrow morning. We do have some sunshine early Saturday, then increasing clouds, highs in the low 30s. Lots of sunshine in the Sunday forecast. We again start the day in the teens. We'll end the day in the low 30s. Future track 13 pretty quiet over the weekend and into early next week. That's Monday afternoon. We'll stop it again on Tuesday afternoon and again Wednesday afternoon. That very busy travel day ahead of the holiday. We are still dry, but a rain chance does arrive locally on Thanksgiving Day. That's what we're going to be tracking during the early half of next week. Just a cold weekend. Morning temperatures in the teens. Feels like numbers in the single digits. Eventual highs in the 30s and we do get a little bit of sunshine. 40s, mid 40s in fact on Monday. We should be close to 50 this time of year and we do get there Tuesday, Wednesday and for Thanksgiving Day. We'll keep you posted on the timeline for rain on Thursday.